Welcome to another Team Flick tutorial. Today we'll be going over the Performance Reviews module in its entirety. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on three sections. The Reviews About Me tab, the Reviews About My Team tab, as well as how you can view and edit performance reviews inside ongoing Teams meetings. So let's start things off with the Reviews About Me section. Here we are inside the TeamFlect dashboard, and for users to access their reviews, all they have to do is scroll down and click View All under My Latest Review. Or head over to the left sidebar and click Reviews. This is TeamFlect's Performance Reviews module, and it has three tabs. Reviews About Me is where users can access reviews about themselves. Reviews About My Team is for managers to access reviews about their team. And all reviews is for admins to view all the reviews in their organization. Performance reviews can be filtered through this drop down menu. Now, here we have two sections waiting for the action of the reviewee and waiting for the action of the reviewer. Reviews can be accessed through the module itself or through Microsoft Teams chat. Reviewees will receive these adaptive cards inside Teams chat. And to access a review, all they have to do is click See Review right here. And this brings us to the inside of a performance review template. As you can see, this one is waiting for the self review to be completed. The left side of the page is devoted to the self review of the reviewee. And on the right side is the reviewers section, which we will get to. Now, your performance reviews don't have to exactly look like this. This is just an example of one of the many customizable performance review templates TeamFleck offers its users. Your team can choose to customize an existing template or create their own review templates using different question sets. But whichever way your team decides to go, once self-review is completed, all the reviewee has to do is click Submit. Let's move on to the Reviews About My Team section. This is where managers can view all the performance reviews within their team. If we scroll down, we can see each review individually. To create a new performance review, all a manager has to do is click New Review. Once here, they can either create a new review for their team, or if they're an admin, they can do one for the entire company. Let's click New Review for My Team. This is where we have to put in a name for the review, and then select the Performance Review template. As you can see, TeamFlect has plenty of options for you to choose from. And TeamFlect admins have the option to click Customize Template to edit existing templates or create their own. Right here is where we can see some information about the template. This is where we pick reviewees, select the review period, attach notes if we have any, select the review date. And once we're done, all we have to do is click Create. Now, let's take a look inside one of these performance review templates from the point of view of the reviewer. We're going into the quarter one performance review, and as you can see, our reviewees are Hakan and Janet. And if we expand, we can see their direct reports. Now, Dennis's performance review has been finalized. And the others are waiting for the reviewer to pitch in. So as the reviewer, let's go into Hakan's performance review. Now that we're inside the review, we can see that the self-review section has been completed and it's waiting for the reviewer. Let's scroll down. On the right side of the page, we can see some very helpful information, such as the tasks in this review period, alongside the feedback and recognition received within the review period. On the left side, we can see some open-ended and rating questions on job performance, alongside some 360-degree employee review questions. We also have a 360-degree feedback section on Hakan, and as you can see, a feedback request has been sent to the CEO of the company, Sarah Wilson as well as someone outside of the organization through external feedback. And if they don't respond, we can always send them a reminder. If we scroll down, we will see the review results section. Now, some of these results have already been locked in through our answers to the questions, and some the reviewer can put in themselves. We have the final result here, and this is where the reviewer can put some overall comments, both private and shared. If we scroll down, this is where the reviewer can place the reviewee on a nine box grid and Hakan shows high potential. If we scroll down, we will see the development plan section where you can easily set some employee development goals. This is what one of them looks like. 
And if we scroll down, this is where we can finalize the review. We can either release the review for discussion or release and finalize. Let's try the discussion option together. Once we click Submit and Release, we are prompted to set a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the reviewee. And if the reviewer chooses to click Set One-on-One, -on -one, TeamFlect will draw their available hours directly from their Outlook calendar and offer time slots that where both reviewee and reviewer are free for a meeting. And once a slot has been selected, all that is left to do is click Schedule. Last but not least, let's take a look at reviews inside meetings. We can see that a performance review discussion meeting is on our dashboard. To access it, all we have to do is click join. Once we join the meeting, we're going to fire up TeamFlect inside the ongoing Teams meeting. To do that, you need to click Apps, look for TeamFlect, click on it, and then select Save. Once TeamFlect has been opened inside an ongoing meeting, all we have to do is click Present Latest Reviews and then select the particular performance review we want to present. Here's something you need to keep in mind. This is not screen sharing. This is an interactive presentation. And as a review is being presented, it can be edited and changed. This is a great way to start discussions about performance reviews. But once the discussion has been completed and everyone is on the same page, all the reviewer has to do is head to the bottom of the page and then click finalize. But that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact the TeamFlect support staff. TeamFlect, build teams that deliver.